We're back with Golden Perspective. You all know the rules. Rule one, we choose who is the better person to live as, right? Who would provide you with the most pleasure? Who would you be good with living as? You are the character. You don't get the pros only. You don't get the cons only. You get everything. If you choose the character, you better be ready to take their trauma. You better be ready to take their pain. Everything in this sort of arena of which character's better or which one's worse. So, off the bat, I already got an immediate answer in the back of my head, but... Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Um, option one, <laughs> off the bat. So, option one is the smartest man in the multiverse, but not in the way it's usually done. So, with, of course, I took inspiration from Rick Sanchez, but and he's different. So, stamina doesn't already, like, he is the smartest person in the multiverse. He is, well, he is rude to many people, but he develops that rudeness. And, again, he develops his intelligence. He wasn't always that smart. He wasn't always the smart guy we knew. He learned from the multiverse that he discovered. He dis He's the one that discovered the multiverse. He's the one that learned from all of these amazing, smart, cunning individuals that discovered supernatural, sci-fi, and fantasy from things that we can only imagine. And he used that, all of that knowledge combined and with one, like he was able to make this sort of helmet, right? He was able to make a helmet that was able to have him be able to steady people from different universes, from different timelines, from different dimensions, from anywhere. So, and he quickly just absorbed the knowledge like it was a serum, right? He's seen so much and he's actually getting places. All in his garage. So instead of him, yeah, he uses the he uses the multiverse, but he is very Even though that's Rick Sanchez, well, think of him as a younger Rick Sanchez that's more, that has to develop more into the, the pain. He has to develop his character, right? He has to develop into this monster. He has to develop into this sort of, being, he has to develop into this sort of God. And he has to deal with the consequences of this sort of big sort of discovery. That's the plan for him, at least. Then we got Professor Life. And honestly, he, he might be good. 
but not escorted as soon. He doesn't even have a good picture. Pretty much he's a Professor X clone. But different. It's complicated. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'ma just I'ma just refer to this as option one and option two again for simple simplicity's sake. The Saber is actually one from the Project Death universe. He's this sort of Dinkarampa Death Game esque inspired um story. Where instead of it being superhero it's not superheroes, it's where instead of it being like Gift like ultimates, it's gifted. It's the ones with gifts. And I already have such. I mean, the plan. I have plans for them. I have. I don't have a script for them, at least, is what I'm saying. Sorry. But then we have the second one. And the second one, the second one. <laughs> oh God, the second one. Am I putting it in there? So you're insane. Extremely clever. Wanted to make the. I don't even know if I can say. You know what? You're the devil. Option two, you're the devil. Option one, you're a vigilante. I'm choosing the vigilante. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. We might be cooking here. We might be cooking here. We might be back. We are back. So we got gliding. Well, option one and option two. Option two might be the one of ones. I'm not going to lie, but the one where. So this one. This character is sort of a Ben 10 X clone, but it's different because he can only train. She, sorry, she, it's a she actually. She can transform into different monsters that are already pre-downloaded into her watch. And she's a blind elf with an eye patch, so. She's cool in a sense, and she's not even the main character. So there's that. And then we got this extra. I don't even know who you are. So pretty much, if you get a gliding suit, you can fly straight up. <sighs> that is such a useless power. At least that's what I think. Yeah, I'm going with option two. I'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe button, the notification bell. And if you choose anything else, leave it in the comment section below and tell me why. 
Tell me something you like.